Okay, good afternoon. So let others uh, let them join later. So uh, we'll start the class. So yesterday we have discussed the few basics about the engineering graphics, the definition, the engineer why it is called engineering drawing. What are all the uh, rules which are used, the instruments which are used, the conventions we have discussed, dimension system we have discussed. Okay, the, the representation. Everything we have discussed, and even at the end, we started with this projection. So, projection is the key element or very important aspect in engineering drawing. Okay, this is the principle or the procedure that we have to follow. Okay, irrespective of the type of the, uh, the object that we, we are the projecting with. So, uh, let me take two more uh, two minutes before going to the this uh, uh, types of projection. A projection, as we have uh, discussed yesterday. So any any object, forget about whether one dimension, two dimension, or three dimensions. Okay, the representation of the, any object on a two-dimensional plane. Two-dimensional plane might be your sketchbook or your monitor mm -hmm. screen or your drawing sheet. Okay, that is called as a two-dimensional plane. And uh, the projection, uh, the procedure, what it says. So, so yesterday, so also we have discussed about it. Okay, this is the object. So if I keep it like this. The projection principle, what it says, we have to identify the, so for example, you are looking from this direction. We have to identify the end points at the contour points. After identifying this, we need to draw the projector line. The line, why it is called projector? We, because we are projecting the, okay, the identified points of the object towards the, the plane where we are drawing the object. That's why these lines that we are projecting from the identified end point, it is called as the projector line. Got it. So after drawing this projector line, until it meets the plane, we need to join it, okay, sequentially, whatever the shape of the, your, uh, the drawing you will going to get, that is known as your projected this object on the respective plane. So this is called as the a projection. And coming to the different types of projection, so this is the major principle that you have to use in projection. So there are uh, for different uh, the engineering application, we have different uh, the types of projection, the orthographic projection. So almost uh, uh, starting from your projection of points till the projection of solids, we discuss this orthographic projection. And coming to this isometric projection, so the last chapter we'll discuss this. So the other two are industrial the purpose. They will use the oblique projection as well as the persp uh, perspective projection. So we'll discuss only about this uh, orthographic as well as the isometric projection. And coming to the orthographic projection, so ortho means 90 degree or perpendicular. So the same example, let me explain this orthographic projection with the help of this uh, sketch. So yesterday one, one example I have given. Suppose this is the object if I show you in a class, the first first row over, over is sitting, okay, it looked like a, okay, because uh, it is nearer to them, so it looked like a bigger size, okay. Then the second bench, third bench, like that, the last row who are all sitting, they will see the same object in a smaller size, okay. So that means uniformity we cannot maintain with respect to your, the uh, size as well as the shape of, a, of your object. The same projection principle we'll be using in orthographic proje projection also. The only difference is, so uh, what is the uh, principle of projection it says, so whichever the object it is, we need to identify the end points of the, your object. After the identifying it, we need to draw the lines from these identified points till it meets the particular plane. After meeting it, so the points, what are what and all you have projected over there, you need to join it. Whatever the shape you are getting, that is the projected the object. Correct? The same principle. So I'll add two more things here. So what are all the the projector line with that you are uh, the extending it or projecting it from the identified the four points. So such a way that you need to draw a projector line such a that these projector lines are parallel to each other. This the projector line, whatever you are drawing from the contour of this, uh, the object, they are parallel to each other as well as perpendicular to the plane where exactly you are projecting it. 
is these two conditions were satisfied then the same projection is called as the orthographic projection if the orthographic projection is followed then the person who is sitting in the first row the person who is sitting in the last row so everyone will get the same shape as well as the size of the object so let me explain the help of this so this is the uh, actual projection see this is the your object so you are standing somewhere here okay, you are the observer so you are identifying the contour of this uh, the all the uh, the end points of this and you are proje projecting it like this that means so this is the size of the object so the bigger the size of the object you can see while projecting it whereas in the orthography and here you can see the project this is all the projector line so assume that this is my end point uh, the outline or the end point okay that i have identified uh, randomly i am uh, drawing the uh, projector line over here okay so that's why i am getting a bigger size or, or even you may get the smaller size also depending upon the uh, distance where you are standing okay with respect to your object so whereas the orthography projection what is the condition of given the projector after identifying the the contour end points of the object so from there while drawing the projector line see to that all the projector lines are parallel to each other this is very very important and as well as the uh, projector line which it is meeting the particular plane of projection it is perpendicular to it then whatever the shape of the object that you that you are projecting it same shape as well as the size you will going to get so this is called as the orthographic projection that's why your orthographic projection is also called as a 90 degree projections okay so this is the difference between your uh, the actual projection as well as the orthographic projection so we discuss now onwards only the orthographic projections after identifying the the contour end points of the object whether it is front view or top view or whatever it is uh, side view we need to draw the the projector lines such that all the projector lines are parallel to each other as well as the projector lines whatever you are extending it whether it is on hpr vpr profile plane then meet those planes in exactly 90 degree or perpendicular to it or orthogonal to it then that such type of projection is called as the orthographic projection so all of you uh, all of you understood this next we will go to the the next step principal planes of projections okay so uh, this particular object okay if you see from different position then only i can describe the entire the the shape as well as size of this object okay for that we have principal planes of projection so let us discuss what exactly this uh, the principal plane. so in order to have a complete description of the object it is customary to have at least two or three views of the object the planes on which these views are projected are known as the plane of projection we have three planes of projection the plane plane is nothing but it is exactly a, a flat surface is a perfect plane surface got it for example this room i can consider if i consider this room so wherever as standing it is horizontal in direction the floor i can call this as the horizontal plane correct so this particular wall which is behind me it is in the vertical direction okay i can call this particular uh, the plane uh, plane as the vertical plane because it is in vertical direction and the third one is profile planes okay the side walls are either side of me okay left and right they are also in vertical direction only they are called as the profile planes so these three are the principal planes of projection okay on these three principal planes only we need to draw the different views that's what it is given so to describe any object minimum two views are required either front view and top view in some of the cases i, I could able to uh, describe the entire object in some cases these two views are not at all sufficient then i need to go for the the third view also for example this is a square prism which i have taken okay if i flip it like this if you see from the front side it look like a rectangle if you see from the top it look like a square 
so with this front view and top view only i can able to uh, describe or define the shape and size of this the uh, square prism in some of the cases some complicated shapes and all where i have some details some holes or some extension on either left side right side and all in such a cases i need to go for the side view also so the three principal planes of projections which are all three principal planes of projection one is the horizontal plane vertical plane and profile planes so all these three the planes are mutually perpendicular to each other all the so fleming left hand row like this all the three the planes are mutually perpendicular to each other this is horizontal uh, vertical projector and the profile the uh, planes that's what wherever you are sitting or standing that room itself you can consider that as the three principal planes of the projection the floor is horizontal plane and anyone either left side right side or back side or front side whatever whichever you consider the vertical the wall you can consider that as the vertical plane and left and right side of your vertical plane you can consider that as the profile plane so it is customarily it is uh, uh, symbolically it is uh, mentioned as vertical plane is vp horizontal plane is hp and profile planes pp are in, in particular the profile planes rpp or lpp we can call rpp is nothing but right profile plane the, the right side of you it is called as a right profile plane left side of you that this particular wall for me it is called as the left profile plane so that's all so uh, these things we'll discuss once again when i when i start the exercises okay so that's what i mean the observer is viewing an object from the front side of it for example this is the object assume that you are the observer you are visualizing this or you are seeing this object for by standing front side of it you are observing it okay the corresponding view projected so what is the uh, the principle of projection says you have to identify the contour point four points are identified and i am drawing the parallel lines with respect to all the four points so that it is meeting a vertical plane after that i will be joining those points it look like a rectangle correct the corresponding view projected on that the particular plane is known as the front view or even in civil engineers they will call this front view as the elevation that is the difference so front view is nothing it's very simple to understand the uh, the object that you are visualizing this object by in by standing front side of it you are looking this object from the front side of it the corresponding view whatever you are projecting on this the particular plane of projection it is called as the front view or even we can also call it as the uh, elevation the plane of projection where exactly you are drawing this uh, the front view it is called as the vertical plane always uh, remember this thing you can uh, uh, take it as a hint also always the front view you will be getting on the vertical uh, plane only always okay whether we, whichever the object that you are drawing it always the front view will go to get on the vertical plane only okay so similarly so the front view cannot uh, describe the entire uh, the uh the dimension of this uh, the square prism which i have given in the front view only the height height of the prism as well as this the length this you can see i cannot get this width of the prism for that next view i have to go for the next view so which is that view the the same object without distance is is position if you see from the top side of it still your observer is standing here only you are seeing the same object from the top side of it so here also you see from the top side of it it look like a square so here also you have to identify the four contour points and you need to draw the uh, projector line from these identified points and all these uh, the projectors are parallel to each other and meeting the plane that is a that is horizontal plane the corresponding view whatever you are uh, drawing on this horizontal plane so it is called as the top view why it is called top view because you are seeing this object or visualizing this object from the top side of it the view whatever you are projecting on this the uh, particular plane of projection so it is called as the top view and in the civil engineer uh, term they will call it as a uh, plan 
okay and the plane on which you are projecting the stop you it is called as the horizontal plane so if this is also you can uh, take as a hint always the top view you have to write it on the hp only on horizontal pro the plane will get the top view on vertical plane you will going to get the front view so the two the view uh, different views we have discussed and two principal planes we have discussed for this square prism front view and top view is sufficient okay the front view this height and this length i can uh, get the top view even the thickness also i can get so uh, it is sufficient for me to um, describe the object with the help of front view and top view for this particular object if some of the object for example this particular object only in two uh, views because here uh, some holes are there here okay for this only front view and top view it is not sufficient to describe the entire the shape and size of this object in such a cases i we need to go for the one more view it is called as the side view so i'll explain what is side view so however uh, the above two views that is front view and uh, top view does not reveal the details of the object sometimes there is any fine details which are provided left side or right side so we cannot see that so to get the complete details about the object we need to go for the side view also how to get the side views for example this is the same object let me take by looking at the front side of it the front view have drawn on the vertical plane by looking at the top side of it the top view have drawn it on the horizontal projector like that by looking right side and left side of it by looking right side and left side of it i can draw the side views or profile views i also i can draw so for example you if you are looking the object from the right side of it whatever the uh, the projector line after identifying the four points here also you are drawing it on the profile plane so you can call it as a side view always the side view you will be getting it on the profile plane only whether it is a, right profile plane or left profile plane got it if you see uh, the object from the right side of it so you're going to get the right view if you see the object from the left side of it so you're going to get the left view that means so left view and right view always you will going to get on the profile planes either on the left profile plane or the right profile plane and one more hint always the side view you will going to get on the either left or right side of the front view only always is once again i'll repeat always the side view you will going to get either on the left side or right side of your front view so with this uh, example so three principal planes of projections we have discussed the vertical plane horizontal plane and profile plane either it might be left profile plane or right profile plane similarly three principal views of projections what is that the front view top view and side view okay these are all very very important front view top view and side view now we'll discuss the four quadrant system of projections so we have four quadrant how to get the four quadrants and all let me explain to you when the as i already have given the vertical the project the, the vertical plane horizontal plane as well as the um, profile planes they are mutually perpendicular to each other hp is 90 degree with respect to vp and uh, hp is also 90 degree with respect to your profile plane either left or right profile plane so these three planes are three mutually perpendicular planes so when you will going to get four quadrants when the vertical and horizontal planes bisect each other if i we consider this uh, as the vertical the horizontal project uh, play, uh, plane and vertical this is vertical plane if you bisect these two the vertical plane and horizontal plane okay so you will going to get the four quadrants the line of intersection between your hp and vp so this is hp this is vp the line of intersection between hp and vp is called as the reference the line which is denoted by xy line xy line is nothing but it is the reference line okay it is the intersection line of your hp as well as vp and the the, the position of the your quadrant with respect to your hp and vp can be give will give you which quadrant so 
the object is situated let me explain this with the help of this uh, the four quadrant so always how to identify the object where it is uh, where it is exactly located whether it is first quadrant second third or fourth quadrant it mainly depends upon the uh, distance with respect to hp and vp once again i'll repeat it in this particular uh, the quadrant system uh, it may the uh, the object may be situated in any one of the four quadrant first second third or fourth the this particular uh, the quadrant mainly it is decided based on the the position of the object with respect to hp and vp uh, i'll tell you okay once uh, ah this is one example which i have taken if i uh, bisect your hp and vp i will be getting four quadrants like this so this is first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant like this so always the observer stands near the first quadrant only for the second quadrant observer won't go here and he cannot see the object for the third quadrant observer from here he cannot come here and he cannot see he has to stand always near to the first quadrant got it now let me give you the details how to uh, how to give the position for the object with respect to hp and vp so observer always is standing here here by the first quadrant so this entire thing it is horizontal plane this is horizontal plane it is b to b and a to a and this is vertical plane this particular uh, is look at the the cursor where i am moving so this is vertical plane and this is horizontal plane okay when you bisect these two so you're going to get four quadrants like this okay for example assume that the object is in the first quadrant then how we have to de uh, define this the position of this object with respect to hp and vp if the, the observer is here only okay if the object is in the first quadrant somewhere here assume that that object should be above hp some distance and in front of vp some distance then only i can say the object is in first quadrant once again i'll repeat it if the object is situated in first quadrant somewhere assume that somewhere else it is situated see uh, look at the cursor the, uh, wherever the cursor is object is situated here so the position of this particular object which is there which is situated in the first quadrant it is above hp some distance and in front of vp some distance above hp is this distance in front of vp is this this why in front of vp i am doing why above hp because this is hp above this uh, the, uh, the hp i am taking some distance that's why it is called as above hp and the observer is standing here so this distance becomes in front of him okay it, because he is nearer to this first quadrant so this is called as the first quadrant first quadrant so it is above hp and in front of vp this is second quadrant the second quadrant assume that wherever the cursor i am placing there is your the object how to give the distance of the object with respect to hp and vp the object is here here also it is above hp the the distance with respect to hp is above hp and the distance with respect to vp it is behind vp i have to call because the observer is standing here so this distance is behind for him so the uh, so whichever the distance whichever the object comes right side of the vertical plane it is called as the in front of vp so whichever the the distance of the object with respect to left side of this vertical plane it is called as the in front uh, behind vp similarly the object whichever the uh, the uh, object which is present the above this hp it is called above hp below this hp line it is called as the below hp so what about the position of the second quadrant object it is above hp and in front in front or behind it is behind vp so this is the second quadrant and coming to the third quadrant assume that the object is here look at the cursor now the position of this object with respect to hp and vp so it is below hp and this distance is behind vp then we can call this as the third quadrant similarly the fourth quadrant the object is here 
and uh, and even uh, the observer is nearer to your the fourth quadrant also so object is here the position of the your object with respect to hp and bp below hp below hp and in front of vp so like this you have to remember the position of the object with respect to hp and vp with this knowledge you can able to identify so which quadrant the object is situated once again i'll repeat it first quadrant it is above hp in front of vp second quadrant it is above hp behind vp third quadrant it is below hp and behind vp in the last one fourth quadrant it is below hp and in front of vp so like this so the four quadrant system we have to practice i hope all of you understood this and uh, along with this so let me give the profile planes also and also one more thing so before coming to this so we assume that all this uh, the planes the vertical plane horizontal plane and including your profile planes left profile plane as well as the right profile plane they are transparent we assume that it, they are transparent why means for example uh, uh, the the observer is standing here the object somewhere is here can, can you see the object you cannot see the object for example see the second quadrant it's like the, the the observer is standing in the first quadrant so this is first quadrant this is second quadrant the observer is standing here can you see the object which is uh, placed here you cannot see that so that's why we assume that the uh, planes are transparent one then only you can see the all the uh, the quadrant object without changing its position and even coming to the next slide here so i have given the left profile plane as well as the right profile plane also i have given so that you can understand so they are mutually perpendicular to each other this is horizontal plane vertical plane they are mutually perpendicular to each other even profile plane also they are mutually perpendicular to each other so this is called as the the four quadrant system so i hope all of you understood this and let me give you how to draw the front view and uh, top view so let me take one by one so the first quadrant is this correct so this is first quadrant so observer is here so it is some distance above hp and in front of vp we can call it as a first quadrant correct now i need to draw uh, draw the projection for this object which is placed in the first quadrant okay the principle of projection what it says okay so it is assumed that it is 20 mm above hp and 50 mm in front of it the object is here it is in first quadrant the observer is here so i cannot draw the top view on one sheet and front view on another sheet i need to draw the projection the, the definition what it says so we have to represent the three of the three dimensional object on a two dimensional plane for that what is the procedure that we have to follow so this is the first quadrant okay if you see from the top the top you will going to get here in the uh, horizontal plane if you see from the front side the front you will going to get a vertical plane so how to draw this both front view and top view on the same the two dimensional sheet or your sketchbook so remember this so always so to draw this the procedure for this is always we need to uh, rotate the horizontal plane by 90 degree in a clockwise direction see this is your first quadrant correct right? and by fixing the vertical plane and rotating the horizontal plane by 90 degree so i rotated it the intersection between your hp and vp it is called as the xy line correct this is the intersection line so this is hp where i have drawn the top view and this is vp where i have drawn the front view so like this i need to draw the projection for the first quadrant system okay similarly this is the second quadrant okay this is second quadrant it is above hp and behind vp so here also i can draw the top view here and front view here correct i can draw the top view here and front view here and i'll be assume that it is a transparent one that's why i can see the front view and top view from here itself now also i need to draw the front view and top view for the second quadrant also on the same two dimensional plane how to, how to do this what have uh, 
given the procedure vertical plane we should not disturb horizontal plane we need to rotate by 90 degree in a clockwise direction that's what i'm rotating it if i do this so this is the intersection of your sp and vp this becomes your xy line and in the second quadrant system both vertical plane and horizontal plane will coincide with each other and the front view and top view also will coincide with each other each each other for the second quadrant so like this the second quadrant uh, the projection has to be drawn now coming to the third quadrant so this is my third quadrant the object is placed here below hp behind vp the observer is standing near the first quadrant only and we assume that it is transparent one that's why i could able to see the top view here and front view here so here also to draw the the front view and top view in the same uh, two dimensional plane i need to rotate the horizontal plane by fixing the vertical plane so i am rotating the horizontal plane by 90 degree in clockwise direction like this i'll rotate it so this is the your the intersection line xy line this is hp and this is vp here you'll go to get the top view and here you'll go to get the front view so now we could be able to um, remember the first make out the first and third quadrant are mutually opposite to each other the first and the third quadrants how the first quadrant the vp will come above xy line and hp will come below xy line and front view will come above xy line and top view will come below xy line whereas in the third quadrant it is exactly opposite to that in third quadrant hp will come above xy line vp will come below xy line as well as the front view will come below xy line top view will come above x y line that's why front first and third quadrant system are opposite to each other and coming to the last quadrant this is my fourth quadrant okay the still the observer stands here only it is a transparent one so the position of the object is it is below hp and in front of vp the object is here the top you will going to get here and front you will go to get here now also i need to rotate the hp this is my hp without disturbing the vp by 90 degree in clockwise direction if i do that so this is my intersection line hp and vp intersection line that is xy line so here the hp and vp will overlap here also this is here i'm going to get both top view as well as the front view also will overlap and here also could you make out the second and fourth quadrants are opposite to each other In the second quadrant, the both HP and VP will go to get above XY line, as well as the corresponding views, both top view as well as front view will go to get above XY line. Whereas in the fourth quadrant, the HP and VP will come below XY line, as well as the corresponding views will go to get that is front view and top view will overlap and it will go to get below the XY line. So if you understand this, it is very easy for you to make out. okay which quadrant the point is situated in the first uh, the chapter i hope all of you have understood this the exercise and uh, and at the end what we can uh, conclude uh, the first and third quadrant systems are widely used uh, okay all over the world at the globe why means because in first and third quadrant the planes of projections hp and vp all the overlap with each other if the planes are not overlapping with each other the views also won't overlap it is front view and top view separately distinctly you can uh, write okay whereas fourth the second and fourth quadrant projections are not being used why means because in both the cases uh, the planes of projection will overlap with each other as well as the front view and top view will also overlap with each other if it, the both front view and top view will overlap with each other then we, we could not okay uh, analyze the drawing and we could not make out which is the front view and which is the top view so that's why okay have you observed in the projection of points only in projection of points chapter so you have discussed all the four quadrants so after, after that from straight line till your uh, the solid chapter only the first angle projection system are the first quadrant system we have used okay because point is a dimensionless object okay if i place a point 
on the same point n number of points it look like a point only it will coincide on the same point that's all i cannot uh, tell draw a point of the 2 mm draw a point of 5 mm a point is a point that's all it doesn't contain any dimension as such so that's why the first and third quadrant systems are well only it is called as the first angle projection system as well as the, the third angle projection system until 1990s 97 okay india we were using third angle projection system okay later to that okay according to bureau of indian standard bureau of indian standard is a regulating body uh, which governs the entire okay this uh, engineering graphics systems conventions all those things okay later to 1990 so till today we are using first angle projection system even in few countries western countries and all they use third angle projection system okay only the difference between your the first and third angle projection system is the front view and top view where exactly you are writing so that is the one the only difference between your the first angle as well as the third angle projection system that's what i have given here in first angle projection system the object is placed in first quadrant so uh, what is the position of the object with respect to first quadrant the object is placed above hp and in front of vp and what about the top view and the front view the top view and the front view lies one below the other that is front view as well as top view and side view also so lies either left or right side of the your front view coming to the third angle projection system in third angle projection system the object is placed in the third quadrant what is the position of the object with respect to third quadrant it is uh, below hp and behind vp here also the top view and front view lies one above the other and uh, side view will lies either left or right side of your the front view come to the a few important difference have listed here just for your reference you can uh, observe in first angle projection system so it's very simple one the object is kept in the first quadrant then uh, it is called first angle depiction the object is kept in the third uh, third quadrant it is called third quadrant front view is drawn above x y line is it true in the first angle projection system the front view will going to get above x y line and top view will going to get below x y line in third angle projection system vice versa the front view will going to get below x y line and top view will going to get above x y line similarly projection of the profile view that is side view is on opposite side as this i could not uh, explain you i let me explain with the help of this see um, here for the first and fourth quadrant for the first and fourth quadrant if you uh, if you want to get the right side view you have to come right side of it from here you have to see this is my right side whatever the uh, the view i am uh, extending or whatever the projection i am drawing it on this profile plane this profile plane is left profile plane for me okay i am standing this is my left side left profile plane this is right profile plane if i want to get the right view so from the right side i should see okay whatever the object i am projecting it here on the left profile plane correct the first and fourth quadrant it is true the right view you will going to get on the left profile plane whereas if i want to draw the left view i should see from the left side of it whatever the the drawing i will going to get on the right, right profile plane so that's why in the, for the first and fourth quadrant it is true since the, the observer is nearer to the first and fourth quadrant the right view you will going to get on the left profile plane the left view will going to get it on the uh, right profile plane and whereas these second and third quadrant second and third quadrant and we assume that the profile plane also profile plane is also a transparent plane not only the vertical plane as well as the horizontal plane okay for the third quadrant okay, if you see the uh, because it's a uh, plane is here the object is here so the right side if you come over here the right view will going to get on the right profile plane only because it's a transparent one similarly the left view for the third angle projection system It's so a transparent one, so you're going to get it on the left profile plane only. So this is the only difference between your the first angle projection system and third angle projection system. That is what one more the difference which I have listed here. 
can see the, for the first angle projection system the profile view is on the opposite side that is left profile view is projected on the right profile plane and vice versa whereas for the third angle projection system the same plane you will going to get that is left profile plane you will going to get left view and right profile plane you will going to get the right view and come into the application the last fifth one which i have given is the application wise okay the first angle projection systems are used for the technical drawings all engineering drawing technical drawings it is used and for uh, your third angle projection system it is used for the industrial drawing okay some uh, bigger uh, the the applications and all it is uh, used industrial purposes it is used so this is the basic difference between your angle of projection that is first angle as well as the third angle projection system so this is what the method of projection recommended by wow. bis that's what I, bis is nothing but bureau of indian standards they are the regulatory body for india okay to fix the the recommendations what are all the procedures what are all the uh, conventions notation that we have to use the procedure we have to follow in the engineer while drawing the drawing so that's what i told till 1991 okay we were using the the uh, third angle projection system so after that okay we were using the first angle projection system only so next uh, let me give you one uh, the example how to identify which uh, angle. angle of projection system i am using my drawing so are you remembering it last class so i have shown you the the layout of the drawing sheet the title block also i have shown where the symbol of the projection also i have shown okay by looking at the single of uh, the symbol of projection only i could able to okay get the information so whatever the drawing which is drawn in the drawing sheet whether it is first angle projection system or third angle projection system for example uh, frustum of a cone let me take a example of frustum of a cone so assume that this is a frustum of a cone okay a frustum of a cone is nothing but it's a cone only assume this is a cone how to get the frustum of a cone a plane is cut such a way that the cutting plane is perpendicular to your axis or parallel to base after cutting it the top portion i am removing it only the bottom portion i am retaining it so now the whatever the bottom portion i am retaining it this is called as the frustum of a cone okay for this frustum of a cone if i want you to draw a left view and front view by considering the first angle and third angle projection system okay then you can able to identify which is the first angle projection system and which is the third angle projection system in the first angle projection system for example see you can see here so the front view you will going to get as a trapezium correct the front view it look like a trapezium correct and coming to the left view he has to come this side he has to come this side for the first angle projection system but first angle projection system left view will going to get it on the right profile plane and right view will going to get, get it on the left profile plane correct that means the left view will going to get two circles one is the the base diameter of the cone other one is the top face diameter of the cone okay then it is called as the first angle projection system for the first angle projection system front view and the side view will going to get it on the left view will going to get it on the right side of the front view why this is the object which i have uh, uh, kept for you the front view means you are looking from here it look like a trapezium left view means i should come left side of it the left view i will be getting it on the right side of the your the right side that is an rpp left view will going to get it on the rpp so that's why this symbol if you see okay it, it is understood that it is first angle projection system whatever the drawing that is drawn on, on that particular uh, drawing sheet it is the first angle projection system similarly third angle projection same object okay front view it look like a trapezium and left view third angle the third quadrant the third angle projection system since it is a transparent one left view will going to get it on the left profile plane only that means left view will be, will be getting left side of your front view so then you could able to uh, identify it is third angle projection system 
So how to identify the first angle and third angle symbol? If the side view you are you are getting right side of the front view, it is called first angle projection system symbol. If the left view you are getting left side of the front view, then it is called third angle projection system. That's all. Okay. This is symbol of projection system. So let me start the. So till here, whatever we have discussed, the entire foundation I have given. So basics are the foundation. Whatever you can uh, consider. If you thorough with this the entire uh, the introduction which I have given, the basic conventions, everything. Okay. The rest of the chapter. I will be using the same principle, same procedure, same orthography projection principle. I will be using it only from one chapter to other chapter. I will change the uh, objects. That's all. I'm going to change the object. That's all. Let me start with the projection of points. So point is nothing. How we can define a point? A point is a dimensionless object. It doesn't contain any dimension. Okay, a point is a dimensionless object. That's why. So we will discuss all the four quadrants in the projection of points chapter. Even though second and the third quadrant, second and fourth quadrant, where the views will overlap as well as the planes will overlap. So even if it overlaps, and a point, one more point overlaps, and that it look like a point only. So I cannot call it as some other the object. So that's why we will discuss. So what what we'll do? All the four quadrants. I'll be keeping a point, some distance with respect to HP and BP, and we will try to draw the front view, top view, and even a side view. Okay. So this is just a summary, or you can keep this chart with you, easy for you to draw immediately and come to a conclusion where I need to draw a front view, where I need to draw a top view, all those things. For example, so serial number one. So the particular object is above HP and in front of VP. It is first quadrant. Okay, it is in first quadrant. What about the position of the uh, particular object? It is uh, front view should come above XY line and top view should come below XY line for the first quadrant. Similarly. Uh, second serial number above HP behind VP. So this is second quadrant the information. So front view and top view where we will going to get for the second quadrant. So both front view and top view you will going to get for the second quadrant above X Y line. Above the X Y line you will going to get. Similarly the third one below VP behind VP. It's a third quadrant information. Okay. And uh, what about the front view and top view? For the third quadrant, uh, front view below X Y line and top view above X Y line, you are going to get. Similarly, the fourth serial number below H P in front of V P. So it's a fourth quadrant. So below H P and for for the fourth quadrant, you should remember the both front view and top view will come below X Y line. And coming to the fifth uh, fifth one above H P on V P. A few cases. Okay, it may rest on HP or it may rest on VP. Few cases, for example, first this first quadrant, if it is like this, it may rest on HP like this or it may rest on VP. This is touching it. So then, so we cannot give a particular quadrant for that. Okay, if it is resting on HP or VP, then we may have to give either it is situated in first quadrant or in the second or third or fourth. So two quadrants we have to give for that. Okay, when I come to the exercises, I'll explain this. The remaining four. So let me take one example. So then you will understand how to draw the projection. I'll take an example. Okay. 
so before starting uh, exercises let me give some more hints for you above hp my means while drawing it so we have to write it above xy line below hp means we have to while drawing uh, projection we should take below xy line similarly in front of vp means we need to draw below xy line behind vp means we need to draw above xy line similarly some more clues i'll give always the hp information whether it is above hp or below hp the hp information will give you the front view information similarly uh, the vp information that is in front of vp or behind vp will give you the top view information so with this clues so let me start uh, the one simple example the first one i'll take just you have to read the question and you have to understand and you, and you need to draw step by step to complete the drawing here three views you have to draw one is front view top view according to the the distance with respect to hp and vp which he has given and including side view so the first example which he has uh, given which i have taken the first example so fraction of points a point p is 30 mm in front of vp 40 mm above hp and 50 mm in front of vp draw its projection just you read it once and uh, analyze it uh, point uh, 30 mm in front of vp and above hp above hp in front of vp which quadrant it comes it comes in first quadrant so immediately while well, uh, after reading it so you can come to conclusion that the point is in the first quadrant okay now you start drawing the xy line you draw the xy line all these lines should be very thin lines okay so this is not our object only our object should be made thick draw x y line like this and how to fix hp and vp it is very very important for the first quadrant okay so what is the the requirement for the first quadrant the hp will come below x y line and vp will come above x y line and front view will come above x y line and top view will going to get below x y line and also one more in hint i have given wherever you write vp there you have to write the front view wherever you write hp there you have to write the top view so since it is a first quadrant example draw x y line and write vp and hp like this vp will come above x y line for the first quadrant and hp you will going to get below x y line for the first quadrant okay after this let me read the first sentence a point p is 30 mm in front of vp it's a in front of vp in the sense it is the top view information in front of vp means it is below x y line i should write the top view should be below x y line now you take a 30 mm below x y line and draw an horizontal projector line like this and locate one point over there at least minimum 5 mm distance you should give with respect to dimension line locate one point over there only the point you have to make it a thick because point is our object and call this as the and uh, let me tell you here itself the representation of the your uh, different view and top view how to uh, recognize it your top views always are represented with a small letters without any dashes okay a p the point p is given i have written this small letter p that means uh, it is understood that it is a top view similarly the same point okay the front view is denoted by a single dash that is p dash similarly the side view whether it is left view or right view that is denoted by p with double dashes so this is also you should learn without a dash if you name any point it is uh, understood that it is a top view with a single dash if you write the same letter it is understood that it is a front view with double dashes you are representing that point or the particular object it is uh, understood that it is the side view so you mark one point you call it as a p so this completes your top view actually you are drawn the top view next sentence you can read uh, 40 mm above hp above hp means above x y line i have to draw and uh, above hp means it's a front view information got it now you take 40 mm above x y line and draw an horizontal line and from already p marked here 
you draw a vertical projector line from p wherever it cuts this 40 mm line you mark one more point over there and highlight it and call that as the feeder this itself is your the front view. always the front view and top view should come in the same vertical alignment i cannot draw a, a, a p here and feed as somewhere you should i should not disturb the position of the object whether you see, whether you are looking from the top view or whether you are looking from front view or side view okay so you can able to complete the front view like this next you read the the third the part of it he says 50 mm from right profile plane so right profile plane always right side to me i'll get left profile plane i'll be getting left left side to me so how to do that the third one so you take 50 mm from the your either p or p dash point wherever you are mark here so you take 50 mm right side of you why means because it is right profile plane you take 50 mm and draw a vertical line perpendicular to x y line okay this x1 y1 line is also a this x1 y1 line is also called as the ref, uh, reference line okay it is the intersection of your the vertical plane as well as the profile plane so x1 y1 line is also called as the one more reference line and it is perpendicular to x y line i should draw the inter intersection of this x1 y1 line and x y line we call this as the origin o you can name it here i not shown here you can call it as the origin after writing this uh, x and y1 so uh, what have given the in side view always you will going to get at the right side or left side of your different view so this after writing your x and y1 line so this is your right profile plane so here we need to draw the side view so now so from this origin wherever you have top view with you so top view is here below x y line you draw the 45 degree line so why the 45 degree line is uh, drawn here to to carry this distance same distance to the side view itself 45 degree means exactly okay the same distance whatever the distance with respect to x y line you have with respect to this point p that is 30 mm same distance from x1 y1 line also you will going to get the same distance for that 45 degree line you can draw or else what you can do it you can take your compass this origin as the center and this particular point as the uh, radius you can draw an arc also that means to transfer the same distance from the top view to the side view we need to draw 45 degree line so from the origin you can draw the 45 degree line after drawing a 45 degree line what you have to do from the top view p you draw a horizontal projector line like this you observe the cursor once it meets the 45 degree line now you draw the vertical projector like this you have to put the arrow marks also to some length now you consider the front view that is p dash now you draw the horizontal projectors like this from the front view so wherever this horizontal projector of the front view and the vertical projector of the top view intersects or coincides you call that as the one more point so that is nothing but your the side view you can name it as p double dash since it is a first uh, the quadrant right profile plane which you will going to get you will going to get left view it's a side view which is nothing but your left view like this you need to draw the projection by step by step you have to draw it like this so this is regarding the first quadrant so let me give one more exercise so tomorrow's class will discuss the remaining example only because uh, all the examples we cannot uh, discuss here because only five weeks is allotted for this remedial class so the important concept and important one we will going to discuss in the class so the second one uh, the question says the point p is 45 mm above hp 60 mm behind vp and 30 mm from rpp draw the three principal views of projection also state the quadrant in which it lies so by reading it immediately you could uh, uh, able to come to conclusion that above hp behind vp which quadrant it is above hp behind vp it's a second quadrant the problem so that's why you can draw a xy line in the second quadrant both hp and vp will come above xy line and it will overlap so that's why you can draw hp vp above xy line like this and both in the second quadrant what is the speciality of second quadrant both hp and vp will overlap as well as front view and top view will also uh, 
come in the above xy line only so after fixing the xy line so first sentence let me read a point p is 45 mm above hp above hp means it is front view information you take above hp means above xy line you take 45 mm above xy line like this locate on point draw horizontal line locate on point you call that as the front view that is p dash okay this is nothing but your front view the front view is completed the first part now the second sentence you can write 60 mm behind vp so behind vp in the sense it is the top view information okay behind vp means above x y line i have to draw while drawing the projection and take 60 mm above x y line draw an horizontal projector line and already p dash you have marked draw a vertical projector from p dash wherever it meets 60 mm line you call that as one more point and mark it as p and uh, this is nothing but your top view both front view and top view are completed now to draw the side view what is the information is given 30 mm from rpp so you take 30 mm from the point to prp dash wherever you have drawn 30 mm draw x1 y1 line draw a x1 y1 line perpendicular to your x y line okay after drawing a perpendicular line x1 y1 line 30 mm with respect to rpp so this is your intersection line okay so this is your intersection line o oh. now here where to draw the 45 degree line the top view is here so wherever the top view is there you have to draw the 45 degree line you draw a 45 degree line like this okay now let me consider the top view first draw a horizontal projector line till it meets the 45 degree line now you draw the vertical projector line that's why the arrow mark is very very important similarly draw the horizontal projector line from the front view p dash so wherever this horizontal projector of the front view and the vertical projector of this top view meets or intersects we call that as the uh, one more point and call it as the p double dash which is nothing but your the side view and this entire plane is called as the rpp okay and the point is situated in second quadrant so this how you have to complete the projection uh, how